Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can create a no maintenance window box for fall because I get it, sometimes by this time of year we just need a break. I'm going to be using mostly natural cuttings from my garden plus a few things from the craft store. I really like to use these hay rack style window baskets. So I'll place a cocoa fiber liner in, then fill it up with soil. I pack the soil in really well so that the stems we place will hold tight. The first thing I'm going to use is some gold juniper from the garden. This will be the backbone of my arrangement and they dry beautifully. I like to place branches along the entire exterior of the window box, spilling from the sides, the front, and then using some taller branches in the back for height. Next, I'll add a couple decorative sparkly pumpkins, vine spheres, and one gourd. Sometimes I like to make sure they look balanced in the arrangement and sometimes not. I just mess with them until I like the way they look. Now I'm going to grab some sedum from one of my flower beds and scatter them around in the arrangement, making sure that they're spread semi-evenly from side to side and front to back. Sedum adds beautiful color and weight to the arrangement and they also dry really well. I make sure not to deadhead a few of my roses so that they form rose hips for me to use in fall decor. So for a super bright pop of fall color, I'm going to strategically place a few stems throughout the arrangement. And now for some soft romantic color, I'm going to add a few hydrangea blooms. It's best to use dried blooms if possible because they do hold their shape the best. For instructions on how to dry hydrangea blooms, we'll leave a link to a video below. Next, I'm going to grab a few grapevines. I'll remove the leaves first, then I'll push them into the soil on one side, swoop them over the top, then press them into the soil on the other side to add some drama and height. For this, any kind of flexible branch will do. Willow and birch also work really well. And this step may take a minute, don't worry about it, just keep playing with the branches until you like the way they look. And last, I'm going to add in some preserved oak leaves that I picked up at our garden center. I'll place these on the back, sides, and front of the arrangement, just wherever it looks like a little more color is needed. And that's it! The best part of this arrangement is that once it's done, it's done. It doesn't need to be touched again. Plus, many of these things can be used the following year if you store them in a clean, dry place. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.